Welcome to this Lucky 44 tutorial. This is episode 4 of my Spawning Units by Scripts and Triggers series. Um, this one is going to pick right up where number 3 left off, having spawned units and run them on waypoints. This time all we're going to do is uh, add a vehicle and a driver and put the units into the vehicle and send them along the same path. Okay, back in Arma Edit, I'm going to look at my script and I'm going to add a couple things. I already wrote the script up and I had it hiding down here in the comment. Okay, there are two stages to this. Um, the first is to create a unit, which is something, a new syntax for us, um, who's going to be the driver. And I'll explain why we want to do that separately in a second. So create unit creates one individual unit rather than a group by spawn group um, in the other methods we've used. So I'm gonna here's how create unit works. And again, you could look this up in the BIS wiki and get details. I give it a name and I'm gonna call him local driver guy. Local meaning I put an underscore in front of it. And then I define him. He's gonna be a member of squad one and he is going to be a Pakistani army soldier, regular rifleman. Where did I get that name? Well, good question. Um, if you go to, I'm going to put the link in for this, but this is Sick Boys, Six Config Browser, and it's a wonderful contribution from one of the great scripters and members of the ARMA community, Sick Boy. Um, he's also the creator of the Six Updater, which is uh, another super super tool. I'll put the link for this uh, URL in and for the moment I've searched for all men uh, in Arma 2 OA version 1.56 and so it gives me a list of if I want the BAF pilot here's the class name that I need to use when I'm spawning him but in this case I don't want BAF, I don't want Russian I want Takistani Rifleman. So here's my basic Takistani Rifleman, and here's his class name. TK underscore Soldier underscore EP1. So, back here, that's what I've typed in, is TK underscore Soldier EP1, in quotation marks. Where am I going to spawn him? I'm going to spawn him just like I spawned the group, at the marker position spawn point one, the marker name spawn point one. And then this stuff you just copy and paste as it is. I'm not going to go into the detail. So that will spawn him at that location. Next line, I'm going to move him into the driver position of the vehicle called Truck 1. Very simple. Move in driver, moves him into the driver position. And then I'm going to pause for three seconds using the sleep command, very important command to get used to, just to let that all get settled and squared away. And then I'm creating uh, an array which I'm naming members and that's going to, by using the units command, I'm going to get all of the members of the unit or of the squad, squad one that I've created up here. So I've created it here, I've added one more guy to it and then I'm going to get a list, which is an array, of all those members. And then I'm going to use the for each command to send each member of the group members, the squad, I'm going to move them into the cargo, which is passenger positions, of truck one. The underscore X tells it to use, to go through it for each member of the array that I define here. You don't really need to understand this. This is pretty complicated scripting stuff but you just need to be able to copy and paste it, changing the name of the group here and the name of the vehicle that they're going into there. Pretty simple. So let's go back to the editor and see what that looks like when we run it. Okay, back in the editor, I've got my spawn point and my three waypoint markers that they're gonna move through. I just need the vehicle. So I'm gonna grab the truck that I was using earlier which I've already named truck one to correspond to 
the how I use it in the script. Spawn point, trigger, doctor, good to go, save, and preview. All right, doc, run into that trigger. Units jump in to that three second delay, and the vehicle takes off going down the waypoint. That's it.